Hello, once again, Kenny Jacobs from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm going to do a video this morning talking about current events as it relates to Bible prophecy. And I want to first say that, you know, I am very proud to be an American, and I'm, I thank God all the time that I was born in this country, born and raised in this country. I still feel like it's the best country on the earth. It always has been. I think the United States of America is the greatest country in the history of the world. However, it is not the same country I grew up in, that's for sure. Um, I graduated from high school in 1985, and the problems in schools back then were so minuscule. Occasional fight between some students. Certainly there were some people that drank, things like that, but nothing major went on, and we certainly didn't have to worry about going to school and being shot or stabbed. Um, and you could actually talk about God if you wanted to in school. Um, Things have changed so much, and it's to the point where I actually don't even recognize the country anymore. You know, and the Bible says in the last days a great falling away will come first, and I think that falling away started a long time ago. We're well into the falling away stages. Uh, now we've got a, a country led by, by Obama who's just walked all over the Constitution, forced Obamacare on us. Spies on all of us, spies on our, on our allies, turning his back on Israel. We're led by Nancy Pelosi, famous for saying we have to pass this bill so we can find out what's in it. Harry Reid calling all Americans who say that, uh, they, that they've had problems with Obamacare liars, uh, saying that Mitt Romney never paid taxes in 10 years when he did. The calling conservatives racist, Eric Holder and Fast and Furious and so, so many other uh, scandals and the NSA and the IRS targeting conservatives, drones, Obama saying he's good at killing people with drones and he likes it. This country is just not even close to what I grew up in. Now we've got a a country that's trying doing its best to legalize marijuana it has in uh, Washington and Colorado and uh, it seems to be starting to expand across the country. I'll, I'm going to elaborate on that in just a minute. A lot of states have voted in same-sex marriage, uh, abortions out of control, uh, we've removed God from society and from schools. Again, as I say, we we're turning on Israel, we're turning our back on them. That's a sign of the last days when all nations will come against Israel. And we've always been a great ally to Israel until now. The whole country is full of lawlessness and idolatry and lukewarmness. It honestly makes me sick to see what's going on in society. Families are falling apart. All because we've turned our own way and eliminated God. And now we're letting atheists take over. And they're a small minority. Thankfully, we still live in a country that has Judeo-Christian principles at its heart. Governments do everything, everything they can to appease the atheists now and take those rights away from us. The spirit of Antichrist has taken over. The soon one world government one world monetary system, one world religion will be here, and you can see it forming every day right now. But it's just absolutely scary. I was looking at a few t uh, statistics this morning. Uh, you know, there are 300,000 incidences of drunk driving every day. 1.2 million people were arrested for it in 2011. That was the most updated stat I found. So 78% of teens have drank. 47% of them say they've had 12 drinks or more in the past year. 81% of teens say they've had the opportunity to try illicit drugs. 42% claim they actually did try them. Another poll says that 65% uh, of male teenagers have used drugs and 39 percent of female teens have used drugs. We know the drugs aren't good for us. We, we, we've seen it wreck people's lives. We've seen it kill people. We've seen it cause addictions. Now I see a new report that they're finally admitting that smoking marijuana damages your brain. 
Yet we've got Obama and Holder talking about how they've smoked a lot of marijuana. <laughs> so now I see we have a vending machine selling marijuana in Colorado. Of the <laughs> and, and get this, guys. You, you use your driver's license. You put your driver's license in the machine. You step back. And there's a camera in the machine that uses biometrics to take your picture to make sure that you are the same person that is on the driver's license. And it gets even better. Once you buy the marijuana and you leave with it, it, <laughs> it has RFID technology in it so that you're tracked. So that they know who's using the marijuana. Marijuana with RFID tracking in it. I'm going to post a video to this description box done by Siho Song. It's a great channel that I subscribe to. I'd encourage all of you to subscribe to it as well. It's a great end, end times prophecy channel. They do great work. And they've done a video on this. And I'm going to post it. Um... <clears throat> The same video also shows how Disney is now using RFID bracelets to track you at the parks, and that's how you, you can pay. You use your bracelet to pay. But now, guys, RFID, <laughs> marijuana in vending machines in this country. All I can say is I, I'm absolutely tired of this rule. There's a lot of people in this world I love and care about. And I and I'm and I have a heart for the people in this world who are lost and do not know Jesus, who are living for this world and are not ready for the return of Jesus. I I, I that I have a heart for that. I, I, I pray for those people every day, and and I and I hope that people will will come to a to a saving knowledge of Jesus before it's too late. But you can clearly see that before long there will be no real preaching of the gospel and, and no more tolerance of any any form of Christianity. And just like Jesus said in Matthew, the hearts of many have grown cold. And people don't want to hear about Jesus anymore. They don't want to hear about the gospel. I saw this morning that atheists have a sign up this, because, of, because it's Easter week that Jesus is a myth. Yet those same atheists believe in evolution and the Big Bang Theory. That's the greatest myth ever pulled off on the on humanity. <clears throat> Jesus is a myth. There's a lot of evidence for Jesus. And the best evidence is for Jesus is to give your heart to him and see what he does to your priorities and what he does to your life. Then you'll know he's real. I'm I'm I don't have one of those days where this world is just I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep spreading the gospel. I'm gonna do everything I can to try to try to wake people up and 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 hopefully get people to think about their faith in light of what's going on in this world. While there's still time, I'm gonna do it as long as I can, as long as God allows me to. But on the other side of the coin, all I can say is, "Come back, Lord Jesus. I'm ready. I'm tired of this crazy world. All the signs are here." To try to stay encouraged, stay in the Word of God, stay in prayer, repent when you've sinned, and keep looking up. All the signs are here. God bless everyone.